What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of RC Kings. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick update video here. Uh, my last T-Max video, uh, I had quite a bit of carnage happen. Um, I had the first incident happen where my rear drive shaft broke on me. You guys can see here, literally half of that's off, just missing. And then the other side, it's it's barely barely hanging on there. So it twisted that boy real real good. Um, obviously, this wasn't that big of a of an issue. I had a spare brand new spare one in the house. Went in, replaced it, and back out I went. Well, then in the video, as you guys seen a little bit later, I had another issue where you know. I lost rear power again. That was not the same clip. That was a totally different clip. I actually lost rear power twice in my last video. The first time, it was the drive shaft. I ripped it out. The second time, you guys may not believe this, but check it out. I snapped off the same exact piece that I did before. <laughs> That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. The part right there that goes into the transmission, the 4994X, the forward only conversion gear. And once again, it broke off the exact same way. You guys can see on, on either side of, the, of that middle pin, there's the metal piece. So, I, I, I need your help, guys. I need your help. What am I doing wrong? What's going on? Obviously, I have too much torque. Um, that's, uh, I mean, that's kind of an obvious because I ripped this, and now this is the second gear that I've that I've gone through. Like I said, guys, this is. Let me flip this around here. This is the motor that I'm using. It's the Ghoul RC 3300 kV motor. And, and then I'm just using the Leopard, uh, Leopard Hobby ESC. Which by the way, this ESC has held up great so far. I recommend it this far. Haven't had an issue with it. It's been in snow, it's been in water, it's been it's been wet and uh, it's it's held up. A lot of you guys have given me crap for running this motor. It's the brushless, you know, Ghoul RC motor. And a lot of you guys have given me crap because it's 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 a smaller motor, which it is. Um, but I mean, as you guys have seen from the videos. That's the kind of results that I'm getting out of it. You know, the top end isn't all that, but I mean, it does move, um, but it's got a lot of torque. It's got a lot of torque. I don't recall what the pinion and the spur gear is. I'm gonna, I'll have to look into that, but I'm not sure what I can do um, as far as me snapping. Or keep snapping that gear right there. That's crazy. I mean, you guys just see me replace that, and here I go breaking it again. You know, it's just the back. I mean, I was doing some crazy jumps and stuff, but I don't know, guys. That's just the update that I have. Um, I'm gonna have to go probably to another hobby shop to pick up that piece because the one that I got this piece from only had one. And I don't think their shipments come in until I think Tuesdays or something like that. So anyways, let me know in the comment section below guys what you think. And I'll do what I can to make the correction. So until next time guys, as usual, please comment, like, and subscribe. See y'all later.